Hey guys, how are y'all doing? ¿Cómo están? How's y'all's day going? I'm still working on my intro, so give me like a little bit of time to actually get a better intro going for y'all. And I'm sorry about the background always changing. I'm also trying to figure out what's the best background for my videos. So you guys will be seeing a little bit of that until I finally find my permanent background, okay? I hope you guys aren't stressing out about y'all's quinceañera today. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, don't stress, everything's gonna be fine. Y'all's skins is gonna turn out amazing and all, all right. Okay, don't stress, it'll be fun. So, today we're gonna talk about Nidaline's quince, her the day before her quince, the day of her quince. I can't wait for y'all to see what like actually went down that day. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll be popping in and out every now and then, okay? Bye, see you in the... See you in the little, the next clip. So the night before, not a lot happened other than Mirna's friend and I getting their extensions ready for the next day. I didn't really get to help a lot, just a little bit at the beginning. And then once all the boys got there, we went ahead and started their last practice. We made sure that Naidaline practiced with her heels, her crinolina, and her crown. That's very important, girls. And then, of course, we had the usual quinceañera morning where Naidaline and her mom are getting ready. The photographer got there right on time to take pictures and video of everything happening. Afterwards, I went ahead and helped Naidaline get ready into her dress. And, of course, her hot pink socks didn't make the cut of this video. You know, besides her mom telling her not to wear them that day, she still wore them with her boots, her little hot pink socks. <laughs> Are you guys making fun of us? No, um, we might need you to take those bracelets off. <laughs> no, I mean, not my bracelets. Okay, now that we have the bracelets out of the way, look at her. She's Miss Quinceañera 2019. Oh, wait. Cell phone. Let's redo that. So after doing a few pictures and video of Naidaline ready, we went ahead and stuffed her into my car so that she could go and be on her way to the venue where her dad actually got to see her for the first time in full dress and makeup and hair. And I really think he liked it. We also got to get in one last practice before the party bus got there. I really liked that we did that because we got to fix a few of the things that needed to be fixed. The florist, along with all of the other vendors, were there. Nadaline actually got to have her bouquet in time for her photo shoot, which was perfect. And there you see the florist and, of course, Victoria. And, of course, sometimes some things end up not going the way you want them to. So it actually started raining during the time that we wanted to do our photo shoot. So we ended up changing our location to the Fort Worth Stockyards. Now, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion, y'all. I do not want anyone getting ideas that I think that this is. This is, just my, this is my opinion, okay? Fine, fine opinion. I loved, and I mean I loved, how Nyla Lean's friends and her cousin Alexa dressed for this event. I loved it. The reason I love it is because this was a formal event. They dressed accordingly, okay? They really did. I loved it. I loved each of their dresses. They were beautiful. They looked beautiful. They did not look <laughs> older than what they needed to look, okay? They looked 15. They looked 15, 16. They looked around their age group to me, okay? And even on the invitation, it says formal wear. So they stuck to that, okay? Not only that, these dresses were an appropriate length for their age. And 
even the girls in the short dresses, the dress wasn't a dress that was um, skin tight, shoulder curves or anything like that. It was very, um, I don't want to say innocent, but it was, it was for their age. And I liked seeing that. Um, the, the formal dresses, the long dresses, I mean, they're all formal dresses, but the long dresses, I like that. Yes, they were form fitting, but they were appropriate. I like that Alexa's had, you know, long sleeve, which is, is perfect. It's showing her curves already. I think that it's, it's showing, you know, enough, not too much skin, not anything like that. The gold dress, I love the gold dress because same thing, it was appropriate. They all even had a formal jacket. One of them had, I think, like a fall fur. They had, you know, uh, formal jackets that went along with their dresses. I just, the shoes, even if some of the girls were wearing heels, they weren't ridiculously high <laughs> to where they just couldn't walk the whole day in them. Um, or that they couldn't even walk at all. Like, they... They were able to walk from the the beginning of the of the stockyards all the way to like where they needed to go and then after we got on the party bus they were still taking pictures and doing their thing like I loved how they dressed up and how they did their hair how did they they, they did their makeup um beautiful beautiful I think one of them didn't even have makeup on but girl she didn't need it she had perfect skin. She had perfect skin. They looked beautiful. She looked beautiful. All of them looked beautiful. I really loved how they dressed. It was just, that's my rant. It's just, sometimes I see girls going in t-shirts and jeans to their friends' quince when they should be dressed up. Or sometimes I see them wearing little booty shorts with boots and a crop top or a, you know, off the shoulder shirt, and I feel like, well, you're already showing a lot of leg on bottom, why show on top, you know? Or why even wear booty shorts and a crop top to a quince? I just feel like it's not formal. That's more for like, let's go to the fair, you know, let's go, let's go out, you know, just something to go out to hang out with your friends, I mean, I don't think booty shorts and a crop top is appropriate for a 15 year old either, but if you're gonna be doing that, you know, don't do that at Quince. That's my opinion, my opinion, okay? That's it. All right guys, let's go back to the video. And of course, Victoria and all of the other vendors did such an amazing job at getting Madeline's venue decorated. Like, oh my gosh, look at all of this. <laughs> the flower wall and the little hangout place for her and her friends. And then her mesa principal, which is actually only a table for her. I love the background of her table. And then of course her cake, her cake was gorgeous just the decorations for her treat table and everything it was just it was so cute and then we had a little incident with her petticoat so while the comida was going on Naidaline and Alexa her cousin and I were actually in the back fixing her crinolina in time for her to start her ceremonies which is when the mariachi came in and he they came in during the brindis and the cake and I thought that was actually pretty perfect for that little time Of course, Nathalie and her group did so amazing during their dance. I'm so proud of them. They they pulled through. <laughs> they really pulled through. They they did so amazing. Now, towards the beginning of the ceremonies, actually, it was at the beginning of the ceremonies. Um, Efrain, her dad, had talked to me about the banda coming in. He wanted to make it a surprise for all the guests and for Naidaline. And I thought it was a great idea. B, 
because usually bandas are up already on stage, getting ready, sometimes already, you know, hitting their drums and stuff in the middle of ceremonies. And I'm not about that. I don't like when bandas and grupos interrupt the ceremonies or are in the background, you know, testing their instruments. I'm not about that. So I really liked that he wanted them to come in. They were outside, I believe, waiting while we were doing the ceremony so they could they could test out their stuff out there however they wanted, you know, without interrupting the ceremonies inside. So very much love that. And so, yeah, towards the end of the ceremonies, you know, I was, whenever it was like the vals and the baile sorpresa, I was no longer in the back with the DJ. I was now with Mirna and the the grandparents on the other side and I was just like, you know, just telling DJ two or three, you know, I was just giving them the numbers of the tracks I needed him to play. But I really wanted to be up in the front with Mirna to, and, and the grandparents to see the vibes, to see the surprise dance because I get nervous, y'all. Even though I know kids are going to do good, I get nervous. <laughs> so, um... Uh, as I'm standing there, you know, watching them, Efrain tells me, hey, as soon as the music's over, the banda's gonna come in. And I'm like, okay. And so I I don't, I don't, honestly don't know who this person was. I want to say it was one of his brothers or maybe a friend of Efrain's or maybe the guy that's in charge of the banda. But, um, or not even that. I want to say it was Victoria's husband. I think it was Victoria's husband. I don't know, y'all. I was everywhere that day. I did not know what was going on. I was just really focused on Nidalene and with everything going on. So, <laughs> um, but uh, finally the guy told me, he's like, hey, the banda's ready. As soon as the song's over, you know, we're letting them in. And I'm like, okay, got this. So I went ahead and got the few people that were kind of in the way, out of the way. And then I went back there to tell him, you know, Okay, go ahead and come in because cause the music's over. And so, yeah, as soon as the music was over, we let the banda in. And they went ahead and did their thing. And I didn't know exactly what Naidaline was going to do once this happened. Because this was supposed to be kind of like a surprise. So, as soon as I come in, I already see her and the Chambelanes and all of them dancing. Which is... Which was perfect. Like they didn't even they didn't even stand there awkward. They didn't just like, you know, like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? You know? They just started dancing and they started having fun. And that's exactly what like I think that's that's what her dad envisioned. So that was great. I really liked it. As soon as the banda was done playing their one song, they just went ahead and went up on the stage and continued the rest of the night. It was perfect. Um I loved what they were wearing. I, I love that. Nadalene and her court were doing their thing, just having fun, which that's what was happening. <laughs> Most of the practices, they would just they would just have fun and do their own thing. So very much love how that played out. I really did. Um one hundred percent I love this quinceanera. I love working with everyone. I love working with her family. Her family was amazing. I really appreciate in case her family is watching this, I really appreciate y'all taking me into y'all's home and making me feel comfortable with y'all and you know always trying to make conversation with me and really um especially because i would drive all the way from waco to fort worth i actually looked forward to these practices so that was pretty great i really loved working with everyone and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing for the most part what goes down during the day of a quince um there was a lot that went on that day and and i think everything came out beautifully i really do i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoy making these for y'all and i hope to be making more soon so thank y'all guys bye <laughs>